Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Exile Club and welcome to today's video. What we're going to look at in this video is the use of index and match combined to create a lookup, a dynamic lookup function. For those of you that are familiar with carrying out lookups using VLOOKUP, you'll be aware that VLOOKUP has many, many limitations. And the use of index and match combined is often used to overcome these limitations. For those of you that are using Excel 365, you can use the XLOOKUP function instead of index and match or instead of VLOOKUP. But the majority of us are not yet on Excel 365. And so understanding index and match and building index and match formulas is still of vital importance for Excel users to understand. Now, before we get stuck into this example, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you will also give this video a big thumbs up and share it across your social profiles. So let's hop into our model and take a look at index and match in action to carry out a lookup and return values in a more dynamic way than what the lookup can do. Now match returns the relative position in a list and index will return the intersecting point between a row and a column. The match function, it looks for a lookup value, an index array, and then a match type. And it'll go down through, when you give it a lookup value, it'll go down through the index array and it'll return the row number in which it finds that value. Let's show you what I mean. We want to look up invoice number two from here and see what row number it is. And we can see there it is number three. But let's say we need to use that in a formula. So we have match and match first looks for a lookup value. Then it looks for a lookup array. So we can select our lookup array. And then it looks for a match type. So do you want a less than value, an exact match or a greater than value? Well, we want an exact match. And we, when we press enter C, it returns the value tree. Now you can also look across the columns. It doesn't have to be down rows. So we can look up our invoice value and see what column our invoice value would be in. And we'll select an exact match and hit enter. Now, as I said, index returns the intersecting point between a row and a column. So let's just say we wanted to find the invoice value for invoice two. Well, we could use the intersecting point to go down through and find invoice two and go across and find the invoice value and return the invoice value. So let's try index and index first looks for an array. And this is the table of which it's going to carry out its lookup as such. Then it's looking for a row number. Well, we know invoice number two is in the third row because we calculated it in our match function. And we know that the invoice value is in column three because we also calculated that. And we can see that we got 95 for the invoice value. Now, if we changed this value, to one, we see that this also automatically updates. But what if you didn't want to have match as an external function? Well, what you can do is you can combine index with match. So first of all, let's take our index, our array, and then it's looking for our row number. So we can use match for our row number, and we want to look up the invoice number. And where do we want to look it up? Well, we want to look it up down this row here. And then our match type is going to be exact. So now we have found our row number. What is our column number going to be? Well, again, we can use match to return the relative position in the list. And we want to take our invoice value. And we want to look it up in our table headers. And we want to take an exact match. And then index will find the intersecting point between the two of these. So I've closed that with a second bracket and hit enter. 
And now with just one formula, as in this formula here, we press F2, is referenced back to two other formulas. So in fact, we've used three formulas to get that first intersecting point. Whereas here, we've only used one formula. Now, what use is this? Well, we mentioned one of the limitations of VLOOKUP is that you can't insert columns of data or your VLOOKUP will get messed up. But when you use index and match because they are dynamic, your lookup will stay intact.